Hello everybody, Cook Gaming here, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Stadium. Last time, we finally took care of Misty, and in tonight's episode, we're gonna try a surge. Alright, so we got a Sailor, a Rocker, and an Old Man. In fairness, I think those are the people that actually show up in this gym, so that is kinda cool. Now then, let's go with our team for Pokemon Yellow. Still so excited about the fact that I can do that. Apologies again for any... Wait, why are the colors different? Oh no, that was just a different image, I guess. Anyway, let's see... We've got a lot of water and flying, so Sparky for sure. In the event that it's, uh, Chop Lore, we'll go for Bill's side. Uh, that one. Just run button with that, and, uh... Poke Claw and Duck Claw. Oh my god. Shell Law. <laughs> Spiel Law. Crab Law. <laughs> I love all these names. Uh. Yeah. Slowpoke and Golduck, I think, will have psychic moves, if not be much psychic. I don't really have anything to combat psychic, however. Uh, sleep. When in doubt, Sleepy Boy. Alright. Sweet Boy is the brute force option. Alright, so Thunderbolt. Should be simple. God damn, one shot. Hell yes, Baki. I think so. Let's see what's next. Spear Law. Looking very green, but that's fine. I love the idea of, like, a giant floating platform that's just on chains. Like, going, like, it swings with different booths and stuff. That'd be a really cool terrain, actually, to see in, like, the anime or something. Oh, man. Sparky is just cleaning up in here. Very nice and easy. Pokelaw! Well, Sparky was definitely the right choice. Oh wow, Sparky managed to one-shot all three. Granted, they're all also first four Pokemon, so I'm not too surprised by that. That's also, like, none of them are particularly defensively built. Well, especially, I guess, in this case. But yeah. That takes care of the Sailor. Let's continue. Alright, train the two. Almost entirely electric, aside from Oregon. So, Sleepy Boy, for sure. Uh, Steel isn't a type yet, so otherwise I would pick the bugger, but being part flying, that's probably a bad choice now. Uh, so, if I don't want the bugger, spark you with Donatello, that leaves Bill Sign Rose. That makes sense to me. Alright. I didn't want the Donatello, obviously, Electric, and uh, Sparky wouldn't be able to do much. I don't have Body Slam, which is inaccurate. Uh, not Body Slam, sorry, just regular Slam. Alright. Uh, we got Earthquake, and thankfully, Vagmite is just Electric in this one, so, no, no Levitate, no Hot Steel. We can just use Magnitude and be fine. Toxic could be a problem if uh, we don't deal with these quickly enough. There we go. That my poison. Wait, 1 HP? Son of a bitch, I didn't actually see that. Uh, we'll grab a body slam then. To just like finish it off. Oh, please miss. 
What now? Thank God. Body plan. Yeah, it's a hit. Oh, is it down and out? What will the next Pokemon be? Oh, it's Porygon. Honestly, probably the best choice for the 64. But, I mean, not specifically for it, but like, probably one of the easiest ones to, to make. You know what I mean? Like, it's already a polygonal Pokemon. Already poisoned, so that can't burn, paralyze, or freeze us. What do you mean? Oh, shoot. That poison's getting to be a real issue. We can use rest, which I might do in a turn. Or two. Corey Ace. Ooh, no, that might actually be kill range. We can flip the toxic. I think it's like fourth turn or something. Oh, and that wasn't even a KO. Oh, I forgot body submission does recoil. And the poison. God damn. Well, that was both a bad play on me and also bad luck. But more so bad play on me, my point, my part. Uh, try attack is normal, but it probably has a electric move. Uh, let's go for Rose. See what Rose can do. This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. Didn't I say that again? Pokemon's just normal, correct? But it has a move or something that can help to change its type. Later on, I think it has the ability where it changes typing to whatever it was last hit with. Or my thing of Kecleon, actually. Move both. I don't know. Alrighty. The remaining Pokemon stock is two to one. The tenth battle continues. They strike fighting poses. Ooh, hopefully we don't get hit by that. Even if it's not very effective, we can still do a lot of damage. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad I was wrong. What's that? <laughs> I don't know why he always has bloodshot eyes when he does that. Like, is it weed? Is that is that what they're trying to say? Is he getting high as fuck every time he uses that? Because that would be hilarious, honestly. Like, it's especially strange in the sense of, like, that's intentional. They set up those eyes, that eye texture, whenever it does moves. That's not like a graphical issue. It's not just a color change, that's like, that is deliberate and specific. And anyway, thanks to Rose, we pulled through. Despite my poor mistakes. Continue. I might play around with settings and see if I can get the game to run a bit uh, nicer. Ooh, a lot of fire and poison. So, Donatello for sure, Bill Size definitely back up. Uh, Sleepy Boy. Yeah. One day it'll be for five years, Ted. Like, especially the next gym. Charter! Yeah, well, you can probably guess what we're doing. And yeah, it's withdraw. <laughs> no. Very nice. Hell yeah. Donatello killing it. Um, what swap? 
I feel like I can just take it out, honestly, so I'm just gonna go for seven. If not one shot, it's certainly a two shot, right? Like, by the time I swap to Billsly, it'll, it'll, I could be taking care of it just as quickly here. And I'm sure I'm gonna I can live through this. Yeah, no doubt. Alright, same move as before. I should take care of me. Knee ran. Say that again. Gruff! Growlops? Did it say Growlops? The remaining Pokemon count is 3 to 1. The battle has become one sided. Savage attack! Perfect day! Very nice. One shot once again. Taken down with one hit! Very cute animation. Sure enough. I would tell it was more than enough for that time fight. You have to certainly make fine backups. But hey, I'm such. Yeah, I'm thinking I'll definitely uh, between parts try to mess around with the settings a bit. Oh yeah, that is nothing but electric. Down, up, left. Yeah, so I'm going to Sleepy Boy, Rose, and Bill's Eye. So I'm not Sleepy Boy, of course. Lieutenant Surge, the leader of Vermilion Gym, and the commander of yeah. Electric Pokemon. The challenger better pick the battle Pokemon with caution. Alright, so we're gonna start with Earthquake, of course. If there is. If it does end up using Toxic, we'll definitely swap out. Oh, damn. This might not one shot then. If it was going to before, anyway. Oof. That's not as much as I'd like. Hopefully, that won't do too much. Oh, paralysis. Wow! Over a hundred. Barely, but still. Alright, do we risk rest? Because it'll put us to sleep, but... We do go second. Okay, so if we go for rest, and it does Thunderbolt again, that's going to one-shot us. Well, not one shot us, but by the time we wake up, we'll be dead. We can take one more of those, but then we'll go second and turn after. They're staring each other down. I went for Earthquake. Here's my thought process. Assuming we live through this, which if we didn't anyway, it wouldn't have mattered. My choice. Oh, thank god. Now we just need to hit. Yes! This should take out Magneton. Probably won't. Okay. I'm gonna go for rest, but I don't expect this to work. I don't expect us to outspeed regardless. So I don't think it really matters what I pick. Yeah. And there's no point in really keeping Sleepy Boy alive when there's no items or anything. There wouldn't be any reason to. We'd just be swapping out and giving them a free hit on whoever goes next, regardless. So yeah, I tried. That sleepy boy is unfortunately out. Um, let's go with Rose. I'm confident Rose can take care of this, and unfortunately for Rose, that's not a feeling I have that often. The Pokemon are entirely different types. What's this? Nail the weak spot. 
Alright, we got the crit, thankfully. There it does. It's meant to crit often, that makes sense. This won't be very effective. Oh, but I got a crit. That sounds good. Come on, Rose. Damn it! Is that gonna be it for Rose? I think Rose should live for this. Why is he- Oh, it's speedy. That's why. Paints are more likely to get critical hits in first gen because it's based on speed. And I believe uh, Magnemite is speedy as hell. Thank god, Rose just barely pulled through. Long enough to at least take out the second Pokemon. So at least we're gonna still be like on par. Of course. Wouldn't be certain about Raichu. Alright. I think the thing that'll help the most is Leech Seed if we manage to pull that off. I didn't expect to outspeed a right shooter with a Venusaur. Yeah. Nor did I expect Rose to take less than 12 damage from a right shoot higher level. Alright. So it's just gonna be up to Bill's side at this point, and hopefully we pull through. There's just one Pokemon aside now. We do have recover. Right down to the wire. So assuming we don't just immediately take half damage or something. What now? We should be okay. The bear hit. Oh, that's good, that's good damage. Uh, I'm not sure if it's quite enough to want to take care of it next shot. Oh, 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 okay, that's that's stronger than I would like. Alright, let's go for another psychic and hope. We have speed. Which is proven last time, I guess. No! Oh, god damn it. I don't know what I could do differently. I guess just better luck, really. Oh, goddamn. Well, that sucks a bit. So close again. Oh wait, we started this gym. Oh, what's the difference between this and re-enter? All right, I'll back out of this. Uh... Next time on a. Uh... Pokemon Stadium will actually Here take this on the properly. And easy victory should be within reach. I didn't take seriously the record. Yeah, I'll exit out. I was just curious what the difference was. Anyway. Yeah. Thank you all so very much for watching. Next time on Pokemon Stadium, we're gonna fight Surge again. And god damn it, we're gonna win. Thank you all so much for watching, I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.